Hello, everybody. Now that we've discussed some of the things that Ms. Turner did incorrectly to make an omelet, and she ended up with scrambled eggs, we are going to see some things that we can do correctly so that we can successfully prepare an omelet. Uh, we thought that you guys could use a few cooking tips before we actually start cooking this semester. Um, an easy thing you can make at home is an omelet. You could put anything in it. Usually some vegetables would be things like a green pepper, onion. Um, you can even put meat, bacon, ham, sausage. You can also put cheese. Cheese is another favorite. So I'm going to make a cheese omelet today and see if I can do it successfully. So let's get started. All right, now that I've washed my hands and tied my hair back, I am going to spray my pan. Now, unlike what we saw Ms. Turner do, I wanna spray my pan over a garbage can or over the sink, because if I spray it over my heat, I could cause a grease fire. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly spray my pan. We also don't need to go crazy. Um, another thing I wanna do is turn my oven on to heat up my pan a little bit. So I wanna make sure I have the correct burner. Another thing I'm gonna take a look at is the size of the burner in order to determine how high I wanna turn my dial for heat, okay? Uh, this stove happens to have burners that are all very small, so I may turn my heat a little bit higher than I normally would at home because the burners are pretty small, okay? So as my pan is heating up, I need to get my eggs ready. I am gonna use two eggs for my omelet. So I am also, unlike Miss Turner, we saw her crack the egg into the skillet. Not a good idea. <laughs> um, if you want to keep your pans for a long time and have a better omelet, you want to crack the eggs into a bowl first and you want to whisk them with either a wire whisk or a fork. Okay, so I'm going to use my two eggs. I'm going to use my whisk. I also, if I want to make my eggs fluffier or my omelet fluffier, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Okay, and I'm going to whisk this together. And then I'll pour it in my pan. Now, the heat is very important because if I make my heat too high and start moving the omelet around or the eggs around, I will end up scrambling, which is what we saw Miss Turner do. Okay. So I also want to use a rubber scraper. Okay. And you can adjust the heat. So right now, I want to watch the edges of the omelet. Okay. Once they start to um, get a little bit firm, I am going to push push the outside in so that some of the liquid from the inside can move to the outside to cook. Okay. So again, if the heat is too high and I start moving the egg around with my rubber scraper, it's going to scramble. Okay. If I think I need my heat a little bit higher, if it's taking a little bit too long there, I can turn the heat up. Okay. So this is another reason that the pan size is important. If the pan is a little bit too big, then the omelet just is a, is a mess and it's all over the, the big skillet. So we wanna use, depending on how many eggs you're putting in your omelet, that's the size pan that you should try to use, okay? So this seems to be a pretty good heat. Right now it's at about four and a half. And you see me still moving with the rubber scraper, pushing the egg in and letting the liquid egg to the outside so that it cooks. At this point, this is when you can start thinking about the toppings that you're going to put in. Hopefully, they're ready to go. So, like, if I'm putting in green pepper or onion, those already should be cut. Otherwise, by the time that I cut them, my egg is going to be burned here. Okay? So, as I tilt the skillet, you can see there's not much liquid left. Okay? So, we're getting to the end here. I can add some salt and pepper if I want some seasoning. But I, today, am only going to do some cheese. Okay? So right now I am going to get my shredded cheese and I'm going to put it on half and then I'm going to fold my omelet over. And we're going to see if I did a little bit better than Miss Turner this week. <laughs> and next week we are going to start our celebrity chef 
segment and you're going to get to meet some people in the district that are going to do some cooking demos for us. But at least if you've never made an omelet or even if you have, hopefully this gives you a little inspiration of something easy you can make at home. All you need is eggs and then whatever you want to put in it. Okay, so now I'm going to fold it over. Ooh, I broke it a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so you can see my omelet there. Now I do want to cook it a little bit longer to melt that cheese, but that is how you're going to make an omelet. And since I sprayed the pan, nothing stuck to it. Nice and easy, easy cleanup, healthy, nice, quick little breakfast. All right, so stay tuned next week for Celebrity Chef. Have a good day, guys.